Okay, so many students are confusing uh, that this is the for first sem or third sem. All the students. For all the right, students. Sir. All the subject controls on uh, first point join now. Okay, sir. Sir, okay, sir, how, sir, how can we get the recording of this session? Yes. Sir, how can we get the recording of this session? Can I recognize now? The sessions are record, recorded. The okay, you recorded. Right, sir. You may you may continue, sir. So am I audible? My yeah. voice properly. So you are getting my voice. Properly? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes sir. Doctor. We are getting properly. Okay. So if suppose. Sir, the voice properly is not coming. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, that's it. Wait a minute, Kabi. Okay, sir. Bye. Uh, अभी ठीक है क्या सर अभी भी अभी भी ठीक नहीं है हेलो क्लियर है सर 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 योर वॉइस इज क्लियर मे बी देयर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन दैट साइड सर उनके नेट में प्रॉब्लम है सर उनके नेट में प्रॉब्लम है सर आवाज क्लियर है सर दे वी हैव गॉट यस सर यू आर परफेक्टली ऑडिबल योर वॉइस 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 clear voice is clear doctor okay. you you can carry on sir, we are getting your voice is very clear someone has the weak internet connection that why they are not getting your voice so your from your side it is good sir please sir continue your session sir sir i think you need to unmute yourself सर यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल सर आपने म्यूट कर दिया है सर यू नीड टू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ यस सर म्यूट इट ओके एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ यस यस सर यस सर यस सर परफेक्ट यस सर sir please unmute yourself sir and actually hello yes sir hello yes sir come yes, on yes. actually so we define like this okay yes, and for any alpha in r alpha x1 x2 is alpha x1 comma alpha x2 correct so let us visualize these 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 properties in r so the first property so it says whenever x is non zero whenever x is non zero so suppose so this origin is the zero zero okay this is the zero vector and suppose suppose x is suppose this is x1 comma x2 vector for you as i told you that this norm function gives the length so you know this length will be always non negative this is always positive this is norm x so call it let me call it x so this is norm x. this length is norm x it so for any non zero vector is it is always positive so let us see the third case so whenever you multiply x by some alpha suppose uh, let me make another figure suppose we take 1 comma 1 you know uh, so whenever i multiply this 1 by 1 say i will i multiply it by 2 so it will be 2 comma 2 okay 
then the vector two comma two will somewhere here, and so norm will be two times. So this length is norm one comma one, and this length is two times norm one comma one. Okay. So this third is scaling property. Fourth one is something else. Let, what is this? Let us see what it is. So this is triangle inequality. So you all have seen this in your BSc course. Suppose we have two vectors x and y. Okay? So this is x and this is y. This is vector x. This is vector y. How do we how do we find x plus y? We use parallelogram law. What we do? We will make a parallelogram. Okay, so we will, and this vector will be x plus y vector. Okay, this is x plus y vector. So what does this say? So this says this is x, this is y, then this is x plus y. So, so, so means, this is same like triangle law, right? Yeah. Same like triangle law. Means length of a side is always less than or equal to sum of <laughs> other length of other two. Sides. This is saying the same. This is a property of a triangle. Okay. Length of uh, say this is uh, a b c length of a b is always <laughs> length. Of a C plus length of B C, correct? Is this okay to everyone? Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. Yes, sir. So let us see some uh, some example. So before uh, before going to example, let me uh, ob so let us observe something. Observe. This. So as I said here that. Uh, as you noticed in this example, uh, where we take x equal to r2, so this norm is nothing but norm of x is nothing but the length of the vector x from the origin. Okay. So if we write this as the distance between the point x and the zero. Then I ask you, what will be the distance between two points, two vectors, x and y? Can anyone tell me? If we say norm x gives the distance between x and 0. What will be the distance between two vectors, x and y? So norm x, y is norm y. So, uh, dxy. Norm, so dxy will be? Yes. What it will be, norm? What did you norm say? x minus norm y. Uh, it's not correct, but norm x minus y. Sir, you are not audible. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, with this metric, this notion of distance, XD is a metric space. Okay? So this means we have observed that every norm linear space, norm linear space is a metric space. Okay.
So can so is the converse true? So next question is: Is the converse true? So what does this mean? This means are every metric spaces induced from some normed spaces? No, sir. Why? Okay. To see that, let us let us notice something. Okay. So, what I told you is: suppose we have a normed space X with the norm this. Let this be a normed space. And the x y x comma y in x be the metric induced by this norm. Okay. Then this this metric satisfies several properties. Very okay. So let us see what happens to the scaling of a vector. Suppose we have uh, two vector x and y. Suppose x and y are in x. X is vector space. And suppose we take a lambda, which is in the field k. So what can you say about distance between lambda x and lambda y? Can anyone tell me what will be distance between Lambda x and lambda y. So norm of lambda x minus lambda y. Okay, this is lambda x comma lambda y is nothing but norm of lambda x lambda x minus lambda y, which is nothing but lambda norm. So norm of lambda x minus y by definition of norm. So let us go back here. So from this quantity, so from this condition, it will be mod lambda norm x minus y. And you know this norm x minus y is nothing but dx y, distance between x and y. Okay. So once this lambda is very large, this distance will be very large. Correct. So you make you can always find two vectors with large distance. Okay, is this correct or not? Did you understand this? Yes, sir. So whatever lambda you will choose, so you will choose a large lambda, and you will get two vectors with uh, large distance. Okay. So this means this means if x is a norm space and uh, D is the metric induced by this norm, then this metric space is an unbounded metric space. It's unbounded. Uh, then let me write this is okay. So remember this. So so this means every norm space is unbounded. So can you give me a bounded metric space? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you give me any bounded metric space? Okay, so it is an exercise for you. Find a metric space that is not Induced by any norm, okay? Okay, sir. So, so I have given you a hint. 
So please uh, 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 do this exercise. Okay, I'll ask you uh, it tomorrow. Okay, sir. Okay. okay, sir. So now let us see some examples of non-linear spaces. Examples. So the first example is very easy. So take x equal to r and define this norm from r to r non-negative means uh, these are non-negative real numbers given by norm x equal to mod x. You all know the properties of mod, okay? And it is very easy to see that this is a norm. This is called the usual norm in uh, in in R, or sometimes it is called the Euclidean. This is Euclidean norm. So, please verify all the all the axioms of norm. Okay. Okay, sir. It is an exercise. Second. Take x equal to R2. So what is R2? R2 is the two-fold Cartesian product of R. So how do we define this? This is all x1, comma x2. So this is all ordered pair x1, comma x2, where x1 and x2 both comes from real number R. Okay. So first we define one norm. So we will call it one norm. How do we define this? Ah. from x to say r non negative real number this is nothing but the this ray closed ray 0 to plus infinity so for any x in r2 this means x equal to x1 comma x2 so how do we define this one norm this is norm x1 uh, sorry norm mod x1 plus mod x2. Mod x2. Okay. So it is easy to see that this is a norm. So why this is a norm? Let's see why this is a norm. Sir, you are not audible. Oh, oh, कोई मुझे बार बार mute कर दे रहे Okay, कहाँ तक मैं audible था? Sir, जहाँ से आपने blue ink से लिखा है, वहाँ से सुनाई नहीं दी. Okay, so so our, now we are proving that this satisfies all the axioms of norm. So first axiom is it is it satisfies the property of positive definiteness. Means norm x is always greater than or equal to zero, and norm x equal to zero implies x equal to zero. Okay. So this is first condition. So we we will uh, prove this. So we all know for any real number a mod of a is non-negative. Is this correct to everyone? Yes, sir. So yes. since x1 and x2, this x1 and this x2, they are real numbers. Therefore, their mods are non-negative. And sum of two non-negative number is non-negative. This implies norm x1 is non-negative. Correct? Is this OK? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. yes sir. Second thing, if norm x equal to zero, this implies mod x1 plus mod x2 equal to zero. So here we are adding two non-negative numbers and we are getting zero. This implies mod x1 is zero and mod x2 equal to zero. They they will simultaneously be zero. Okay. Koi bhi agar non-zero hoga, to ye quantity positive ho jayegi. Okay. 
So therefore, both mod x1 and mod x2 are zero, which is same as saying x1 equal to zero and x2 equal to zero. This implies x is zero comma zero. So, those three property will satisfy. Hogi, correct? Now, yes, come sir. To third property, scaling only. So, suppose lambda belongs to say R and x in say R two. So, when I say x in R two, this means x is x one comma x two. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what is norm lambda x? This is. Uh, so this is norm of lambda x1 comma x2 and how did we define this we defined it like lambda x1 comma lambda x2 okay by definition this is mod lambda x1 plus mod lambda x2, x2. so this is mod lambda mod x1 plus mod lambda mod x2 okay correct so Yes, sir. This is mod x one plus mod x two. So this means this satisfies the third property as well. The fourth property is also easy. So because because for any two real number, for any two real number a and b, we know this property. This is true for all a, b in R. Okay. So we will use this. To show that x plus y one is less than equal to mod x one plus mod y one, so this is our claim. We want to prove this. So here x plus y will be x plus y would be x one plus y one comma x two plus y two. Correct? Yes. Sir. Means x plus y one norm is mod x one plus mod y one. Sorry, mod x one plus y one. Mod x two plus y. Using this, okay, this condition. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, using this property, what we will get? Mod x one plus mod y one. Okay, plus mod x two plus mod y two. Okay, so this is same as mod x one plus mod x two. Plus mod y one plus mod y two. Okay, this is nothing but norm x one. So norm x and this is norm y. So we have shown the triangle inequality. This means this means this is this gives a norm in R two. As I told you, every norm gives us a metric. So this norm also gives us a metric. So d x comma y, where x is x one comma x two, y is y one comma y two. This norm also gives us a metric, which is nothing but this metric mod uh, x one minus y one plus mod x two minus y two. Okay. So let us see uh, geometric. Meaning of this. So we are in R two. Okay. So we have two points. Say this is x one comma x one comma x two, and suppose this is y one comma y two. Okay. So what then? What will be the distance between these two? This is x. This is y. What will be the distance between x and y? So. as you know in your bsc or in your uh, in your intermediate class so uh, you you take this as a distance okay the length of this line segment but this is not the case with this metric ye kya hai dekhiye sabse pehle mod x1 minus y1 mod x1 minus y1 will be this so length of this then length of This so, so this is sum of these two lengths. Okay. So this is called taxi cab metric, taxi cab metric, or uh, sometimes it is called postman metric. Okay. Yes, sir. So then we have another norm in R two. That is two norm. 
first, first I'll, I'll uh, take infinity norm, sup norm. Okay. So let me take this as an example. So R2 with sup norm. It is called sup norm. It is defined like this. So any for any vector x in R2, for any x which is x1 comma x2 in R2. So may I ask a question, sir? Uh -huh. Sir, uh, in the pre uh, previous point, sir, where you mentioned that mod of x1 minus y1 hmm? denotes horizontal and then vertical distance. Uh -huh. And the sir, distance of the represented by mod of x2 minus y2. Uh -huh. Can you uh, explain sir, the distance measure uh, represented by this? So, see, what it's is mod? The stretch formula. This is x1, sorry, x1 comma 0. Yes, sir. This is y1 comma 0. So this, this distance is mod x1, mod x1 minus y1, OK? This distance, which is same as this okay. distance. Similarly, yes, sir. this is 0 comma, uh, 0 comma what? x2, 0 comma y2. What is this? Yes, sir. No. This got it, sir. Got it. Y two minus x two. Uh, when you yes. apply mod, it will be same as mod x two minus y two or whatever you can. So these two are same, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm. So uh, how do we define this now? So this is max of mod x one comma mod uh, mod x two. Okay. So this is called sup norm, sup norm, or sometimes max norm. We will see why why do we call this sup norm. Okay. So uh, I'm leaving it as an exercise for you to show that this is a norm. So all properties uh, of norm need to be satisfied. Okay. So same जो तरीका हमने ऊपर किया था वही use यहाँ भी करेंगे. So uh, it's it's very easy. Please do it your own. So let me come to another metric, well-known metric. You all know this metric. So you all know this norm. Uh, this is called two norm. Okay. So sometimes it is called Euclidean norm. So how do we define for any? So this is third example. Uh, it's a uh, fourth example for any vector x in R2. So this means x is x1 comma x2. Okay. Norm x is uh, mod x1 square plus mod x2 square 1 by 2. So, so since you know uh, mod x1 square is same as x1 square, you can write it as x1 square plus x2 square as well. So you all know this is same. These two are same, okay? So can anyone tell me what does this quantity rep represent? Magnitude of any vector. Magnitude, magnitude of, of any vector. So in other words, it gives the, the length. Length from where? From the, the fixed point, that fixed point can be taken as origin. Okay. Good. So this is norm x. Okay. This is called uh, the Euclidean norm. Euclidean norm. Aapne dekha tha, R mein bhi ek Euclidean norm tha, yaha bhi ek Euclidean norm. Okay. So we will see that this is a norm. So in fact, what I'll do, I will use, I will, I will prove another norm, which is, so I will first define this P norm and I will prove that this P norm is actually a norm and for P equal to two, you will get this, okay? And there is an independent proof, which is easy. So 
this is also an exercise for you. Okay. So now what I do before uh, defining this, I will just uh, take a general case. So instead of R2, let me take Rn. Rn is n fold Cartesian product. Okay. N times. This is n fold Cartesian product. Means this the member or the vector of this vector space or this set Rn is out of this form x1, x2, xn in R. Okay. So, and how do we define this P norm? This is defined like this. Okay, let me first write it. This is mod x1 square plus mod x2 square up to mod xn square. Oh, sorry. Uh, since I use P, so it would be P, 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 then one by under root. Under root, nahin. P a through. Agar ye two hota, tab main mujhe square likhna padta, okay? Hmm, jitna hai utna hai. Ab ab dekhiye, ye dono same hai, theek hai? Yahan par P equal to uh, two hai aur n equal to B two hai, correct? So we will show that this is a norm. To prove this is a norm, we need uh, an inequality which is called Holder's inequality. Okay, so we direct Holder's inequality. Uh, so holder's inequality proof. Karne ke liye, uh, let me first write what Holder's inequality is. Uh, if time permits, I will prove it. Otherwise, I will just use it. So what holder inequality says, it says we have two uh, real numbers, P and Q, between uh, 1 and infinity, be such that 1 by P plus 1 by Q is 2 upon is 1, OK? Then for every x, which is x1, x2, xn in kn, y, which is y1, y2, yn in kn. I told you k equal to either r or c. So this means this is true for both r and c, OK? r and or c. And so then for, for every x and y, what we have is mod xj yj is less than equal to norm xp norm yq okay so what is this this is norm xp is nothing but summation mod xj square sorry xjp please mute yourself hello okay did So this is J runs from one to N Y J Q one by Q. Okay, this is Holder's inequality. So now we prove that K is a norm linear space. So we all know K is a linear space. What we need, what needs to be shown is for this K N. So, is a norm space. So, we have already seen. So, for for p equal to one, for p equal to one, this is mod x one, mod x two, mod x. Okay. We so this part is easy to show. And we have seen this in case of R2, easy to see. So we will leave it. For P equal to infinity, this is also easy. 
So this will be in, uh, so for P equal to infinity, this is max of mod X1, mod X2, mod Xn. So this part is also G. So we will prove for P greater than one and P finite, okay? Okay, let's do. So all other properties of norms are easy to uh, easy to verify, except the triangle inequality. So let us see the triangle inequality for 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 this norm. So let me remind you what this p norm is. X p is defined as x one p x two p x n p 1 by p okay so to show triangle inequality we need two vectors x and y are in k and i told you we will use holders inequality so let us see again what holder inequality says so for holders inequality we need p and q okay so what we do, we let us take P and Q there. Let us take P and let us take P greater than Q. Okay. So if you take two real number, two, two real numbers, then uh, by trichotomy law, one of them will be uh, either greater than. Uh, so, so for P and Q, you have three cases, P greater than Q, P less than Q or P equal to. So we are assuming the, the first case, P greater than Q case, okay? Hmm. Now consider X plus Y, P. So what this quantity will be? Can anyone tell me? So what will be this quantity? Hello? Mod X plus P plus X plus P plus Mod? Mod XP plus mod. Less than equal to mod. No, what is the definition of this? What is this? What is this? By definition, what should it be? Mod of x1 plus y1 power p plus mod of x2 plus y2 power c plus s is uh, 1 upon p. Okay. This will happen. If I take 1 upon p, then I don't have any problem with 1 upon p here. Okay. So, what is this? Is this correct for everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I can write this in summation. J1 and mod xj plus yj p. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. What you do, you break it into two parts. yj and xj plus yj p minus 1. Correct? So, both are same? Yes, sir. Yes. Now use triangle inequality here. So XJ and YJ, they are scalar. So they are like this. They will have property. Okay? Yes, sir. Triangle yes, inequality sir. mod, modulus. Okay? So this will be less than equal to? Mod of X1. Mm, X Summation. J1 to N mod XJ plus mod YJ. Xj plus yj to the power p minus one. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. अब इनको आप यू डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी, so you will get j equal to one to n mod x j xj plus yj p minus one plus j one to n mod yj xj plus yj p minus one. Correct? Yes, sir. Now consider. Quantity, okay, consider the first quantity. So then we will consider the second. So from so use holders in 
गुड होल्डर जे इक्वल टू वन टू एन एक्स जे एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे पी माइनस वन तो लेट एस सी वट होल्डर इक्वलिटी से यहां पर है होल्डर इक्वलिटी कोई दो वेक्टर है एक्स और वाई उसके लिए समीशन मॉड एक्स जे वाई जे तो स्टेट ऑफ वाई जे यहां पर जो वाई जे है इसको हम रिप्लेस कर देते हैं इस क्वांटिटी से ओके एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे से तो क्या मिलेगा आपको देखिए फिर से मैं होल्डर से निकलती आपको दिखा रहा हूं अरे भेज देना मैं तो तो दिस इज होल्डर से निकलती तो दिस सम इज लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स पी वाई क्यू तो मैं एक्स जे को एक्स जे लिखना है वाई जे को रिप्लेस करना है तो फर्स्ट ये वाला तो सेम रहेगा तो दिस इज एक्स पी बट वट वी नीड टू बी डन सो हम इसको चेंज कर रहे हैं इसको क्या लिख रहे हैं देखते हैं सो so, इसको हम चेंज कर रहे हैं वाई जे को पूरा एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे मॉड एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे टू दावर पी माइनस वन से रिप्लेस कर रहे हैं ओके सो यूज दैट हियर ये वाले में इसमें चेंज करके आप क्या लिखेंगे मॉड सो इन स्टेट ऑफ वाई जे यू विल राइट मॉड एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे टू दावर पी माइनस वन इन टू क्यू होल पावर वन बाई सो राइट दैट सो दिस इज समीशन जे रन फ्रॉम वन टू एन मॉड एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे पी माइनस वन टू दावर क्यू होल पावर वन बाई क्यू करेक्ट ना वट इज पी माइनस वन इन टू क्यू दिस इज पी क्यू माइनस क्यू ओके एंड यू नो वन बाय पी प्लस वन बाय क्यू इक्वल टू वन यू यू नो दिस सो फ्रॉम हेयर वट यू गेट पी क्यू माइनस क्यू विल बी कितना मिलेगा इसकी मदद से बताइए पी क्यू माइनस क्यू विल बी would be p p correct p milega na so just replace yes, this sir. p minus just put this value so you will get norm xp and summation j12 n mod xj plus yj to the power p 1 by q okay ab thodi der ke liye is quantity ko bhar ko dekhiye aap j वन टू एन मॉड एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे पी ये कितनी ये क्वान्टिटी किसके बराबर है बताइए दिस इज नथिंग बट ओके ये क्वान्टिटी किसके बराबर बताइए दिस इज नॉम एक्स प्लस वाई पी करेक्ट इज दिस ओके अगर यहां से हटाऊ तो ये क्या बन जाएगा पी यहां चला जाएगा so this quantity is same as this correct yes so can i replace it yes i can so this means this is equal to x plus y p p then whole one by q means this is okay did you understand yes sir yes sir okay. so similar dekhi ye ये इस सम के लिए हुआ अभी एक और सम आपके पास इस सम को भी हम ऐसे ही रिप्लेस कर ऐसे ही प्रूफ कर सकते हैं कि ये किसके बराबर होगा सिमिलर समीशन जे वन टू एन क्या था वो मॉड वाई जे एक्स जे प्लस वाई जे मॉड पी माइनस वन दिस इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सेम थिंग तो अब यहां पर एक्स रिप्लेस हो जाएगा वाई से वाई पी नॉम एक्स प्लस वाई पी टू दावर पी बाई क्यू ओके वट वॉज यूर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट वॉज नॉम एक्स प्लस वाई टू दावर पी तो राइट दैट नॉम एक्स प्लस वाई टू दावर पी एंड इट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सम ऑफ दिस एंड दिस तो राइट दैट तो नॉम एक्स पी 
x plus y p p by q plus norm y p x plus y p p by q okay देखो कॉमन है एक्स पी प्लस वाई पी ध्यान से देखिए क्वांटिटी सेम वैसे ही कुछ है तो इसको दूसरे साइड ले जाएंगे तो क्या बनेगा डिवाइड कर देंगे तो उससे पी माइनस पी बाई क्यू करेक्ट माइनस पी बाई क्यू वट इज दिस Again, root one by p plus one by q equal to one. P minus p by q will be one. One. Okay. This means x plus y p less than equal to x p plus y p. So, ये तो triangle inequality थी. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So this. We have proven that yes, we, we have proven that K N norm P is a norm linear space. The norm linear space. Okay. Now here is an exercise for you. So you know what this notion? Do you know this notion? Notion. Notation. Uh, ऐसा नोटेशन आप जानते हो कुछ पढ़ा है कभी ओके इफ यू डू नॉट नो लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज फंक्शन दिस इज फंक्शन स्पेस फ्रॉम हुज डोमेन इज नेचुरल नंबर एंड इट इज के वैल्यूड फंक्शंस हुज डोमेन इज नेचुरल नंबर ओके सो व्हाट डू यू कॉल सच फंक्शंस फंक्शनल नहीं इनको क्या कहते हैं कुछ नाम होते हैं इनका स्पेशल नाम होता है फंक्शन नेचुरल नंबर इज सीक्वेंस ओके सो तो केन इज सीक्वेंस स्पेस केन इज ए सेट ऑफ ऑल के वैल्यू सीक्वेंस सो सेट ऑफ ऑल के वैल्यू फंक्शन विद डोमेन एन मींस दिस इज सेट ऑफ ऑल सीक्वेंसेस इन के ओके आई थिंक I have another class, so I will uh, uh, stop at this place. Okay, so we will uh, meet tomorrow. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.